Yo, 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 YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, Damn D, POV, and we are back with another video, and I just got done. I, I, I didn't watch the whole thing of Tasha K and uh, Shay Means, but Shay Means was on Tasha K's platform, and you can see by the look of Tash, Tasha K's face, she wasn't very happy at all. Um, But I did... <laughs> I only saw like the last 15 minutes because I was doing other stuff and then I went to my phone. I'm like, oh, yo, they live. Um, but from what I seen and what I heard, hold on, let me let me play some background music. Hold on. First of all, fair use, fair use. Where's my goddamn fair use? Where's my goddamn fair use at? Goddamn! I, I need my goddamn fair use. I don't know. But, uh... I'm all over the place right now. Music. I need some music in the background. Play my music! All right, there we go. All right. So, but from 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 what I heard, um, I want to talk about what they were talking about. Um, I like what I heard at the end because. I'm not gonna lie, right? I'm 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 gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. Uh, when I heard about Shay Means and what she does, I prejudged her. I definitely prejudged her as the as the fact that you know I thought she was a typical Instagram fight. You know what I mean? And she got OnlyFans. And she, you know, does things for money. You know what I mean? Um, I do not advocate any type of woman doing anything, getting money from men, any kind of sexual favors. It, it, it just, it's just not a good look. I know that's the thing to do these days, but ladies, please carry yourself. Try to get money a respectable way. You know, I'm not here. Hey, I can't judge you, but just it's just not a good look you know what i mean it's, it's just not a good look um i understand but it's just you know try to figure out something else but um when i i i actually watched shay means live stream i think she went live like yesterday or last night or something like that and when you actually hear her talk she is more than what she presents herself to be on Instagram, right? Like on Instagram, you see her pictures, you see her, you know, you just think she's up for hire. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100%, all right? If if you judge her from her Instagram, you think she's up for hire. Like, hey, let me fly you down and, and let's do some things. Okay, send the money to the cash app. And, and let's be honest, all right? Let's just keep it a hundred. She even admitted that she was contemplating and doing something with Tommy, but the vibe was wrong and he had to pay more. Let's just keep it a buck. All right. I'm not here to discredit her or, or nothing, but I'm saying all the, all of that to say this, when you actually hear her talk, when you actually watch her live stream she's actually a cool i wouldn't say spiritual but she's a woke woman you know what i mean um the way that she handled herself she said that she's deep into uh you know self self-love and everything and 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 like she when you hear her talk you think differently than what you see from the visual so I have a different perspective of Shay actually hearing her talk and watching her live stream the other day. You know, like she actually does have a good spirit. All right. She is young. She's trying to figure herself out. And when you're young and you're trying to figure yourself out and you need and you need money, People do certain things, you know. I'm I'm not here to judge her at all. Please, I'm I'm not the one to judge. Everybody has different paths in life. This is just the path that she's going right now. Um, but 
I do like her spirit and I do like her energy. She gives off very good energy, but um, I will hope and pray that she alters and goes away from, you know, the OnlyFans and being flown out to do things. That being said, I actually like Shay Means. She seems to be a very respectable, cool lady, uh, cool young young lady. And um, hold on, let me get it right here. And in this live stream, you know, Tasha K. From what I seen, she was going off. You know what I mean? She she was going off, and. It seemed like a lot of people, a lot of women was going against Shay Means from what I was hearing. Um, I'm going to have to go back and re-watch the whole thing, but I just want to hear up and make this video real quick, you know, since it's hot and, and, and fresh. Um, it seems like there's a lot of women that was kind of defending Tommy and saying that she shouldn't have got up and she shouldn't have done this but like i said in my previous video like i said in my previous video um one thing that a lot of people is not paying attention to is tommy is a 45 46 he's almost 50 a 50 year old man had a physical altercation with a 22, 23 young lady. Make that make sense. Just, just zoom in. Just focus on that. A 53-year-old man had a physical altercation with a 23 girl? What? As a man, as a grown mature older man you should know how to handle women you should know how to handle a woman especially if they get spicy if they get loud if they get in your face you should know how to handle a woman and like i said in my other videos you don't need to be arguing with a woman because it's not going to end good at all arguing with a woman look say what you got to say if you need to express yourself, express yourself. Yeah, boom, boom. But once it gets to the yelling and in your face, that's when you need to take a step back and just walk away. Or just let her talk, let her get her stuff out, and you be quiet. That's how a man needs to treat a woman. Either you walk away or you just let her talk. And just let her talk herself to death. All right. Just, 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 just let her talk and yabba, yabba, yabba. Because going back and forth with a woman is, is, is just not how you handle women. Women need to be handled differently. All right. So that being said, Tommy should have known how to handle a woman. But obviously he don't. Because he has feminine traits. The way that Tommy... And Shay was arguing. It was like two females talking to each other. Bit, 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 out it. Ah, you got the right one. You got the right one. You, you got the right one. Put your hands on me. Don't touch me again. Touch me again. Touch me again, you bit. You whore. You. That's, that's how women talk to each other. A grown man does not need to be talking to a young lady like that. So, regardless, look. I'm going to keep it 100%. They were both at fault. Shay was at fault. You know what I mean? Even though she felt like, you know, she was being disrespected, which she was. She was definitely being disrespected because there's no way that you expect to tell a woman that, that she's a B in her face and not think that that woman is going to not do anything. Like, like I, I don't know what type of women... Tommy been around what type of black women Tommy been around that he think he can get away with saying the B word to a black woman and don't think something's not going to be slapped across your head. But 
she did get up. She did slap him. But she did that out of the disrespect. If Tommy did not disrespect her, I don't think it would have went that way because she was calm, cool, and collective the whole time. And pretty much Tasha K was going in on everybody, especially the women that was trying to defend Tommy. So I'm going to have to go back and watch the full thing, but I only seen like the last like 10 minutes, 10, 10 20 minutes. And uh, I just want to give my um, opinion on this. I will make another video about this after I watch the full thing. But um, there was a quote that she said. She said that verbal abuse is just as bad as physical abuse. And that is true. Because that is true. Verbal abuse can mentally mess you up. The same way physical abuse can mess you up as well. You know what I mean? So that verbal abuse is, is definitely, um, it's a different type of pain, right? Physical, you can, ouch, it stings, it bruises, it hurts, you, you feel the impact. But a verbal, uh, a verbal assault, verbal abuse can mess with your mind mentally it can make you feel less of a person you feel disrespected you don't feel like you are worthy you know mental abuse can lead to suicide you know what i mean so a lot so that verbal and physical abuse is just as bad and tommy was definitely displaying verbal abuse because she didn't call him out his name not one time. He was the one that called her a B, 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 whore, B, B, B. And then that's when things got out of line. But uh, shout out to Tasha K for doing this interview. Um, I will go back and I will watch the full thing. And once I watch the full thing, I'll, I'll make another uh, video about it. And sh salute to Shay Means. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to lie. I did have my judgment my prejudgment on her um based you know just based on what she said you know that she let's be honest she said that she before she went down there you know she was it was a possibility that she would have done something if you know he would have paid more and if the vibe was right so you know I don't agree with her lifestyle, but she's a young lady. She's trying to figure herself out, and I'm not here to throw stones at her. I would, I would, I would never do that because guess what? I'm probably a bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I'm probably more of a hoe than a hoe being a hoe. <laughs> Trust me, I didn't had a lot of women in my day. I didn't, I didn't had a lot of women in my day, and I ain't get paid for it. I mean, I ain't get paid like you know, hey, pay me. You know, I'm just, I'm just slanging. I'm just slanging my piece out there. You know what I'm saying? So I can't judge her because she's getting paid for it. Because trust me, but I didn't. <laughs> I was a hoe back in my day. I was just as a hoe, as a hoe being a hoe, but I just wasn't getting paid. I was, boy, I was slanging that thing back, back in my, back in my twenties and in, in, in my teens, boy. I, so <laughs> I can't judge her, you know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's just a little different when you're getting paid for it. So it's like it's it's, it's more like a service than it just naturally happened. You know what I mean? When when things naturally happen, it's like, you know, but when you're getting paid for it and you it's like a service fee, eh, it's a little bit different. But that being said, once I did watch her live stream and once I did actually hear her talk, I'm like, she's actually a cool person. She 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 actually is a smart young lady. She's intelligent. She has a little hood to her, which is good. Every woman needs a little hood to her. And she's she is self-aware of herself and her energy and her vibes. 
And I like that about her. Um, I will. I am subscribed to her channel. Um, so y'all go support her too, man. Y'all go support her too because I was watching her live stream. Um, yeah, right here. I think it was fresh. Yeah, whoever so the guy is, the, she's um, she's she's live right now. So make sure y'all go check out the life of Shay Means. I think. I think she's someone that y'all should definitely go check out, man. She's uh seem seem pretty cool. So other than that, man, it's your boy Damn D P O V. Um, once I get back from doing what I gotta do, I gotta get my car washed and stuff. Uh, I will go back and watch the full live and give my full assessment. But other than that, it's your boy Damn D P O V. We signing out, baby.